Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2. Uh, so yeah, it is finally here. We are back with Amanda Lopez, and you guys have no idea how freaking excited I am to be here with her. Um, for those who don't know, The Sims 2 is absolutely beyond amazing, and I started an LP on it quite a while ago, and I had some technical difficulties that had to make me put it on pause, but they are now resolved, and I can continue Amanda's life, and I am really, really excited. Um... So pretty much, uh, for those who are new, like I said, I started a Sims 2 LP. We started in university, and now we are living downtown with a bakery, a kid, and Don Lothario. And that's pretty much our story for now, but you know, it will go on and we will progress through our life, and I'm really, really excited to be back. And I hope you guys are excited for this LP as I am. So yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, jump did right. a little bit of decorating to the apartment if you guys remember I said I was gonna build a house but we really don't have any simoleons right now to be doing so uh, we have currently 4,000 and that is not enough to build a house and we still have the bakery so we can go ahead and make simoleons for that but I kind of give it more of a modern theme in the living room and kitchen instead of the wooden theme that we had before and then over here in Rose's bedroom it's kind of just you know decorated a little bit and then the bedroom is exactly the same, actually. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys remember, Amanda was unemployed because she was working at the bakery full time, or trying to at least. Uh, Don was an intern in the medical career, and Rose was a public school student. Now, I told you guys that I wanted to move out of the apartment just to give Rose a better life. But with Avery out of the house living, I think, right here, or downstairs or something, I forget. Uh, we definitely have enough room for Rose in her bedroom, but if we want another cu uh, cud, another cud, another kid, we will definitely have to move out. So I definitely, definitely, definitely want to get the whole uh, bakery aspect flowing so we can earn simoleons and all of that good stuff. I know we have some stuff in our inventory, and I'm pretty sure we have a plasma screen TV in there. I'm going to sell that for now. I know, I know that hurt doing that, but we just have to. And I also have Blackie in here, which is our our pet. Our little white albino. Um, what are these? I forget. Gerbils? I could be wrong. Guinea pigs? Oh, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and clean his cage and fill it up with some food. And uh, play with ba Blackie a little bit. And then we're going to go use the restroom. And Amanda's actually a little tired. But I need her to make some cakes. We have currently four... Uh, I believe those are cheesecakes in our inventory so hopefully we can use those but we're gonna go ahead and head to bed for a little while and Dawn should be coming home pretty soon and Rose should be here any second actually all right so Rose is home oh and she brought home a friend from school who is it Nerissa Komoskos oh huh, pretty cool we're gonna go ahead and head upstairs and she's rather smelly so she's going to go use the restroom and take a shower, not a bath, because you have a friend over. You kind of want to hurry up in there and hang out with her. And she wants to be friends with Narissa, so we will definitely have to become friends with her. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and shower. Alright, so let's see. She wants to have fun. So where is Narissa? I can't even... Let's go down here to the playground. We have not been down here, so let's go ahead and play on it. We've always had that. It's kind of, it's not the nicest playground, but it's a playground. So we're going to go ahead and play on it. I love, love, love the playgrounds in The Sims 2. They are really, really nice. So yep, yeah, here is Rose back and at it. And I definitely think she looks like Dawn. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at her face. Is that not Dawn? That is literally Dawn. That is Don. <laughs> um, that is Don John. All right, we're going to go ahead and actually have Amanda wake up now. Uh, she's in a pretty good mood. So we're going to make many group meals of, uh, make some Santa. Well, it's summertime, actually. Oh, oh, that's one thing. I have a mod installed, which makes it so during summer vacation, or during summertime, uh, children and teenagers will actually not go to school. It's kind of like a summer vacation uh, mod. So I believe she won't be going to school anymore. And also, uh, the mod also 
also, 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 it includes a day off in winter, which can be like your Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, um, Christmas, whatever you want it to be. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and like I was saying, we're going to make many. We will make some. I'm thinking berry pies. Yeah. We'll make some berry pies and Don is now home from work. And he actually needs to go shower. Oh, he's playing with Rose right now. Oh. All right, he'll go ahead and give her a family kiss and give her a little hug. Oh, and Norris is leaving. We didn't even get to hang out with her. I don't even know where she was. All right, so I'm gonna have Dawn come up here and use the restroom and take a shower. And when is the next day that he has off? Oh, he actually has tomorrow off. Ooh, I'm thinking tonight we might take Amanda out and propose to her. I always do everything backwards. This is nothing new. <laughs> this is really nothing new. Uh, I always do things backwards in my gameplay, or I guess traditionally backwards. I really don't care. Um, I had a baby before we got married and everything, but you know what? It's 2014. That happens quite often, and I'm not against it. You know, it is what it is. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so we are going to take a shower, mop this all up, and Amanda, you know what? You can finish that later. You made one berry pie. That's good enough for me. So, oh, actually, yep, she only made one berry pie. Or she, I think she made two, actually. Actually. I keep saying actually. I'm so sorry. I know it's probably really annoying. But Dawn's going to go ahead and shower, and then we're going to go ahead and shower. Actually, Amanda, do you have anything nice? We'll go, we'll go somewhere formal. See if she has any nice formal attire. Okay, she definitely does. We're gonna go ahead and throw that on. All right, go ahead and oops, not try for a baby with it on. Oh no. Oh, and Rose is uh, gonna go crawl into bed. Tomorrow we're gonna head downtown and go shopping, or actually maybe Blue Water Village. I don't know. Go shopping for some clothes to get Rose a new outfit or two. She could probably come with us if she's on uh, summer vacation, which I'm pretty sure she will be. Okay, cool. We're going to go ahead and head downtown. Don's a little tired, but we're going. He has no option but to go. He's proposing. It's already almost 9 p.m. Crap. Okay. We're going to go, though. We're going to take Don Lothario. And, yes, we will hire a nanny. All right, cool. So we are about to leave and go get proposed to. Stop making that berry cake, girl. You're about to go get. Okay, can you get out of my house, Arika? We're gonna ask her to leave. We're gonna be like, can you? Um, I don't know. Maybe leave. And we will go to Bernard's. We've been there before. It's pretty nice. Actually, is there somewhere else we should go? She is a little hungry. But I kind of want to go to the Lost in Love hedge maze. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to go to the Lost in Love hedge maze. Hedge maze, yeah. I think that's a... Ah, no. Crap. Ugh. I wanted to propose over the table. Crap, and now the taxi's here. Okay, we're just going to have to go there. We're just going to have to go there. I wanted to propose over the table, but this is good enough to... Maybe I'll have them sit at a table and do it. I'll see. I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, I will see you. Alrighty, all everybody. So here is actually the love maze. And I'm not really feeling it. I think I'm going to head to Bernard's just to do the whole table proposal. I remember this being a lot nicer than it looks. <laughs> I actually think it looks pretty bad. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and head to Bernard's. Alrighty, everybody. And we are now here. And look who's here. It's freaking Avery. Oh, this is so awkward. We're about to get proposed to. Oh, and they're going to be wearing their everyday attire, aren't they? I could have them change into it, but Bernard's isn't really too fancy. It's like kind of fancy, kind of not. And Don, can you not? Oh, crap. That's actually what I need to do. I'm doing everything backwards. Sorry about that. We are going to... Do, 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 do. Let's see. Ask right here on a date. Oh, Avery, I feel so bad for him. He's all alone. For those who don't know, this is actually Amanda's past lover. Uh, yeah, it's a little awkward. We cheated on him, but it's all right. <laughs> all right, cool. 
So now we are going, okay, your dining bill has been taken care of. Please see the host if you want to eat again. Or sit down again, not eat again. All right, so instead of playing darts, we are going to change into our formal attire. Oh, I forgot I had to do this. I don't think you can do that. I am like so lost with The Sims 2. I'm just so used to The Sims 3 and The Sims 4 now, but I will definitely get used to it, so I apologize for that. But we're gonna go ahead and be seated now. Oh, it looks like uh, <laughs> Avery is treating himself to some lobster thermidor. <laughs> All right, and Dawn is going to sit down now. Amanda, how about you stop looking at Avery and go sit down? All right, come on, guys. Come on. Go sit down. Amanda, you too. There we go. Thank you. Now, our waitress or waiter should be... Oh, it's starting to rain. How romantic. How freaking romantic. Where is our waitress or waiter? Here she comes. Oh, and the evil witch is here. Can you stop ruining the moment? Thank you. All right. We're going to go ahead and click on her and click order. So she can come over. Vivian, midlock, or you can walk away. That's cool, too. Okay. Um, I love how our proposal is literally getting ruined. Where is she? go home you wonder why people call you the evil witch aka bitch like leave honestly leave brandy brandy i swear i will do some voodoo karma on you i don't even know what or how i will do it but i will do it you are ruining this this is my first freaking part back if you could excuse yourself from this lp that would be great leave goodbye brandy leave the cat can stay, but not you. Okay, you know what? This is not happening. Not today. Clearly, this is a huge mess. Maybe maybe it will happen. You know, we're just going to try to push it in there. We're going to go ahead and blow her a kiss. Avery, go away. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and blow her a kiss now. We are going to... Uh, do a toast to the love. Let's go ahead and order for all. We will both have some fried chicken. It's like fried chicken coming right up. Oh, what a lovely proposal. We will caress our hands together. All right, and while she's in there, can we propose? Oh, we can't. We have to be across the table. Okay. Uh, Dawn, can you move over here for me? Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Vivian, for delivering nothing. I really appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. We can officially call this the worst date ever. <laughs> we will have to try this again when we wake up in the morning because clearly this is just not happening. We will try to leave it off on a good note, even though she's going to come home with us and sleep in the same bed at us. Uh, as us, we will go ahead and uh, make out and uh, leap into his arms just to make sure that he knows that we are ready to get married because clearly it's just not happening tonight. However, he does have tomorrow off, and, you know, Amanda works at the bakery, so she makes her own hours, or technically, I guess, hair flip, I make them. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and, um, yeah, this game hates me. We're gonna pay the dining bill and leave, because, <laughs> uh, you know, there's Sims back here doing hookah, and, um, the evil witch is here, and... Yeah, it's just not a good night. I will see you all in the morning. Alrighty, guys, and good morning. So, unfortunately, the mod did not work for Rose. I'm guessing it's because she already started summer. I'm really not sure. I'm going to have to check that out. But I did decorate a little bit in the master bedroom because I was having some problems with the Murphy bed. But what I did in here was kind of just a cheetah print, red theme. I don't know. To me, it just screams dawn. 
But I think what screams Dawn the most about this room is actually these pictures. They were about 1,000 smolians each, which are pretty pricey, but I love them because they are Bella Goth. And for those who don't know, Dawn has a, um, a history with Bella Goth. If you have not played The Sims 2 or have read about The Sims 2, then you probably don't know. But let's just say that there is a scandal that uh, Don pretty much was the reason Bella disappeared or he was with her that night when she disappeared. Long story short, we don't know who Don is. We don't know what he did to Bella, but okay, he's about to like die of hunger. Go eat that burnt muffin before you die. Please, Don, go eat that burnt muffin before you die. Okay, you can go ahead and get some leftovers as well, Don. Sorry, we almost killed you. I'm gonna go grab an empty bowl or not. All right, just cook yourself something real quick. We need to get a sink real quickly. Let's see, right here. And uh, <laughs> Amanda is writing in her journal this morning, just, you know, probably her burn book. All right, Don went ahead and cooked himself something. Let's go answer the phone really quickly. Hey, Amanda, is Rose available to talk? You are literally like probably 30 years old how about you don't call my daughter um we're gonna go ahead and serve up some pancakes this morning uh oh <gasps> okay we need to go pay our bills actually and they are expensive oh let's go pay them this freaking sucks oh and look it's not kaylin anymore it is not kaylin the maid it's now Lucy. Uh-oh. Maybe, like, the maid services found out that Kaylin was working a little bit uh, overtime. And, hmm. In case you don't know, Don also has a thing with quite a few girls. <laughs> but he's uh, finishing up those pancakes for us. Oh, cool. We got a free meal coupon. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and eat. And then we're going to head out for the day. Do our whole proposal thing. And it'll be fun. And, yeah. So we're just going to finish up eating. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and put those away as leftovers. Amanda's going to go ahead and use the toilet and take a shower. And Dawn, what are you going to go do? Go watch some TV for a little while before we leave. Look at Dawn. Look at that grin. Oh, he's such a player. All right. I'm going to actually have him call the transportation really quickly. I can't wait to get a car. <laughs> Once we get our own place, we can go ahead and do that. Or if we switch apartment complexes, which I don't think we will anytime soon. I think um, probably within the next five to ten parts, we will definitely be moving out because this place gets really crowded really quick. Let's see. We will go to first probably H&M. Thinking H&M is a good, or we can go, here. I really want to propose over the table really badly. Um, we'll go to this place, Londies, Lond probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's probably fancy. It seems pretty fancy, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and head there, and hopefully it is. I will see you guys. Right, so I was correct. We are at a fine dining place wearing casual attire, but that's okay. Um, as long as we love each other, it doesn't matter what we look like, what other people think of what we're wearing. Uh, we will go ahead and ask Dawn on a date. And then we will go ahead and be seated. Oh, really fancy. Hear the classical music. Ooh. All right, cool. Hopefully it's a dream date. It should be a dream date. If we get proposed, yes, definitely should be. Oh, look, it's Darren Dreamer, classic, with his green freaking glasses. So 2004, love it. <laughs> oh, look at this. We have a seat right next to the kitchen. Love it. But cool. We're going to go ahead and sit down. And Don is going to try to do this all over again. He's going to blow her a kiss, caress her hands, and just hopefully get this proposal in today. Or we'll even light this candle right here. All right. Awesome. We're going to toast to Amanda and all of her accomplishments in life. 
All right, and we will order for all. Instead of fried chicken tonight, we will go ahead and order filet mignon. We'll have a nice dinner. And John is going to go ahead and do the proposal now, if we can. Why can't I propose to her? All right, well, we'll just have to wait. <laughs> uh, he definitely wants to. Maybe they have to eat first? I don't know. Oh, Amanda, you're so freaking cute. I love her. Can she propose to him? Nope. Okay, she can. She can't propose marriage. <gasps> That's why. He's engaged to Cassandra Goth. How could I forget that? Damn you, Cassandra Goth. We are about to effing break up with her so hard. So hard. <laughs> wow. Okay, so two times now I have tried to friggin' proposed to Amanda, and both times I forgot that he was engaged to Cassandra Goth. My bad, I apologize. Um, I just have not played this game in um, two months. <laughs> so I have no idea what the hell Dawn has done. My bad, I apologize for that, but let's just enjoy, and enjoy our dinner. Enjoy our dinner and laugh at how stupid I am. All right, let's go ahead and head to H&M now. <laughs> or we can use our coupon, actually. We're going to use our coupon on this fine dining. We're done eating anyways, so yeah. There we go. We're going to go ahead and call a taxi now. This is probably the biggest fail ever. In the next part, we will be getting engaged and breaking Cassandra Goth's poor little heart, her achy breaky heart we're gonna break it and um, we're gonna head to H&M I feel bad I kind of like Cassandra Goth and I'm totally about to like <laughs> bring her down poor Mortimer he's probably like you ruined my data I'm sorry I'm sorry I love All right, you. so we are now here at H&M we're just gonna pick up a couple of new outfits for the whole family I wanted to pick up Rose clothes definitely because she's kind of rocking what she aged up in so let's get her some new clothes and just you know, give her some fresh duds. And one thing I noticed about The Sims 2, because I'm running this on a pretty good PC, um, definitely updated, it kind of runs a little slow because it's like, what is all this new equipment? So I apologize for that. Y yeah, we're going to go ahead and get some children clothing. And I think the children outfits are the best. I don't really like the tops. We only have three. Like, whose idea was that? Only three tops, everybody. Uh, we will do, I don't know, Rose kind of has like the whole pink room going on, but I don't see her as like a total girly girl. And it's also summertime, so maybe we'll get her like this little dress right here. That's pretty cute. I should get her like a mermaid outfit. I would have loved that growing up. I would have put the little mermaid on, put a red wig on. I would have done it all because I freaking love Ariel. Maybe oh, I love these too. I freaking love these clothing right here. All right, we'll just do that outfit for now. And for us, we will go ahead and pick up a new outfit as well. I know we have a few in our closet, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little something something. And maybe a family vacation is needed. Definitely want to do a little family vacation. And we will be starting the business back up uh, probably uh, either in the next part or the one after. But I just want to kind of get settled in a little bit and reintroduce the family and get used to playing with them again before we jump right back into open for business. Because that is by far my favorite Sims 2 L not LP expansion pack. I just freaking love it. Every time I open it, I'm just like, yes, mama, yes. So, yeah. <laughs> I really don't know. Nothing's standing out to me right now. Nothing is calling my name. And I know Amanda kind of has this unique style where she's not very, I don't know, fashion forward. Not she, It's not like she's not fashion forward, but 
I don't know. She's kind of not. She doesn't wear what everybody else wears. So I don't know. But you know what? She kind of does wear what everybody else wears. I don't know where I'm going with this. I should get some custom content. Um, I'll go ahead and purchase that top right there with like a pair of jeans maybe. Hmm. Okay. Actually, no, I won't. That totally does not look right. Oh, this is really hard. I'm sorry for wasting time right now. We'll just go ahead and get her a tank top. That's what I would wear. A tank top and like some jeans or capris or something. I love tank tops and like shorts. I am lazy as <laughs> F. I really don't care. Oh, I kind of like these right here, actually. We'll do, uh, we'll do some red ones. Oh, actually, I kind of like the pink ones. We'll do pink. Okay, cool. And for Dawn, uh, I cannot see him in a new outfit quite yet. So that's like Dawn's outfit forever. <laughs> so we're going to give him some more time in that outfit. But we're going to go ahead and purchase that. And if we head upstairs, is there anything cool? Oh, there's a fashion show. Can we walk that? No? Then I don't care. I don't. If I can't walk it, I don't want to even look at it. Alrighty, guys, so we are going to go ahead and call the taxi again and head home now. The date, once again, is probably only going to be a good date, but that's okay. The next date will be a fantastic date. And another failed proposal, but that's okay. It's just... It's just our second time. The third time's the charm, guys. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end this part here. I hope you all enjoyed. Please give it a big fat thumbs up if you liked it. And um, feel free to subscribe and all of that good stuff. I will see you all next time, alright? Bye, guys.